Welcome to the Macat Multimedia Series, a Macat analysis of Theta Scotchpole's States and Social Revolutions. What changes when a social revolution occurs? Theta Scotchpole is an American sociologist and political scientist. She wrote States and Social Revolutions in 1979 to explain the forces that cause states to face revolt. Scotchpole made an important distinction between a revolution and a rebellion. For her, a rebellion is simply an uprising by the subordinate classes, which may not cause structural change. Revolutions, on the other hand, occur when embedded institutions are transformed. A social revolution involves total political and social structural change to a society. Nothing is left the same. Scotchpole examined examples of social revolutions from the history of Russia, China, and France. She believed that all three displayed the same core features. Firstly, a social revolution required an old regime that drew its power from maintaining traditional forms of economic organization. Secondly, a crisis, usually in the form of international pressure, was needed to weaken the grip of the ruling class. Third, a rebellion was led by the lower classes. And fourth, a new regime was institutionalized. Scotchpole's theory was original in its focus on the role of the state. She argued that the state's ability to respond to a crisis depends on its structure. If it is able to react, then a revolutionary situation will not come about. If it is not, then social revolution is, for Scotchpole, an automatic response. To understand Scotchpole's ideas better, let's imagine a house as an analogy for a state. The house has a basic structure, namely its foundations, supports, and beams. It also has design elements, for example, its windows, doors, and interior decoration. The house was built according to the taste and technology of the time. However, as time goes on, it will go through periods of crisis. The house may begin to look out of place as tastes change, or extreme weather may cause it to become unstable. Renovating or redesigning the house would certainly change it. But Scotchpole would say this was not a true revolution. For this, the foundations must change. Whether or not the house undergoes such a revolution depends on whether its structure can cope with the crisis. If it cannot, then it will be rebuilt according to its new environment. Scotchpole's book broke new ground in defining revolutions and explaining why they come about. States and social revolutions continues to influence historians and sociologists today. A more detailed examination of her ideas can be found in the Macat analysis.